Aries, this is your love and relationship reading for the month of December. Let's see what's going to be happening, how you're going to be feeling, how is your person going to be feeling, and what's going to be changing, what is the overall energy of your connection with your person in December. taking your time for some reason you have to be patient here with this person with this connection you are feeling um, like you have to look at things from very different perspective mm -hmm. you want this union you want this two of cups you want this uh, partnership you feel like they're your other half this is the person you love but due to the circumstances nothing is moving nothing is happening you both have to wait you both have to go through this period of hanging in there waiting for something and not being able to take any um, actions could be that there is distance between the two of you because you are in this energy of the world at the moment it's the distance it could be uh, online dating or maybe it's just that Let's clarify a little bit. What is this world about for Aries? Why does it feel like something has ended for you here? It feels like the cycle, some sort of cycle has ended and uh, everything is gone now. Like, <laughs> I'm so good at explaining things today. Um, what's gone is your satisfaction is gone with this connection. Uh, some cycle has ended, maybe there was a mutual agreement to end this, to break up. And you are not happy, you are not satisfied. Nine of Cups in reverse, there is no emotional fulfillment because of that. But at the same time, there are no fights, no, no fighting anymore. No arguments, you don't feel like this is too... Yeah, you're not fighting anymore. Maybe you, <laughs> you came to an agreement to make peace with each other, but at the same time, it feels like an ending for me for some reason ending of union again two of cups in reverse when in reality what you really want is two of the of cups upright you want this union you want this connection to be present in your life but it's gone it ended for some reason and you accepted it somehow you are like yes okay i'm gonna stay humble i'm gonna stay I'm gonna keep the peace in my soul, I'm not gonna get too emotional about that, I'm go not gonna do anything drastic. The world, this is a very wholesome energy, it's accepting what is, is uh, knowing that things always turn out for the best for you at the end. Your person here, your person is not doing well, because they are in the energy of Nine of Swords. This is the energy of anxiety, this is someone panicking, this is someone that can't sleep, this is someone feeling remorse, feeling um, worried about the future, what's gonna happen, maybe I made a mistake, maybe uh, lots of overthinking. Uh, yes, let's clarify, why is Nine of Swords here? Fears, fears. They can't move on. What's happening here is that they can't move on. Six of Swords in reverse and the Ace of Wands. They can't move on and start anew. That's why. It almost... Yes, this has ended. The situation, this partnership has ended. But they can't move on in peace. They can't start again. There is no... F there is no new start for them. Because they're fixated on you, the King of Cups. This is uh, someone we trust, someone we love, and 
you must you still take a big place you still occupy it, occupy a huge place in this person's heart and um, this is a very very stable energy it's going to take so much time for them to forget you to move on and they're not successful with that right now at all uh, your future plans and actions for this connection um, Arias is justice you just want the truth you just want um, for things to become balanced again you just want I see you wanting this connection to uh, to become resurrected and uh, and in a much more balanced way, in a much more peaceful way, where everyone gets what it is that they want, uh, everyone's needs are covered, and... But let's clarify. Yes, and you feel quite decisive that you want to uh, express your desires for this connection to be balanced towards your person. You want to move towards them, you want this breakthrough. You are very much in control. You, you, if there is distance between the two of you, you want to come to them. Chariot, you want to travel. Um, and offer them something stable, King of Pentacles. Offer them, them something worthy, because that's exactly how they see you, or at least the memories they have of you. That's what they were holding on. And I see you making plans for this connection. I see you planning in your head, coming up with strategies and, uh, yeah, of ways to express yourself to this person and making things right. I'm here in making things right. The future plans and actions of your person. That's beautiful because they're planning the same. Three of Wands. That was just in your codification, the same card. They are planning at least little steps, taking little, small, but significant steps towards you. Um, they see this uh, possibility, they see the potential of the future with you. And they're ready to take action. The connecting energy between the two of you is the sun. Someone here is uh, bringing so much positive energy into this connection, is feeding the life force of this connection. And I feel like this is you, Aries. I feel like this is you because your person is not doing well. I feel like you are the positivity of this connection. You are someone who's um, like a cheerleader for your person here. You are someone who's trying to make them feel happy in whatever they're going through, trying to support them and uh, show them the bright side of life. Even though you guys could have, you could, this could be the end, literally. The most likely outcome, we've got the Three of Pentacles. This is the energy of learning, of putting effort, trying to make it work together, trying to talk trying to talk. King of Pentacles again. Mm. You both can't let go of this connection. You both can't move on. Ace of Wands in reverse and then um, Eight of Swords. You both feel very stuck and very fixated on each other. But now I feel like at least you you will at least start with friendship, with uh, simple texting, calling each other, asking how was the other person's day, how did it go, and yeah, starting with simple little steps because you can't move on not you not this person let's ask for an advice for you Aries. what should you know about this connection in december 2020 
question. We got this card, unrequited love. And this could be the way you're feeling right now or the way your person is feeling. <laughs> you are both definitely not satisfied with the situation. But you are still holding on to this. Maybe you can't give each other what it is that you need, but you're still trying. You are working on yourself. You are trying to stay friends, maybe. You are trying to make peace with whatever is happening. It says there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Yeah, maybe there are some blockages, some traumas from the past that um, you trigger in each other. And that's why you're both struggling to make it work. Mm. I hope this helped. I hope it gave you at least a little bit of clarity. And I wish you lots of happiness, lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.